Have you ever looked at the label on a can or bottle of diet drink? If you have, then you may find wording that looks something like this. It contains a source of phenylalanine. So what is phenylalanine and why is it important that they tell us about it? Let's find out more. Phenylalanine is a component of aspartame, which is an artificial sweetener, about 200 times sweeter than sugar. It's extensively used worldwide in products as wide-ranging as drinks and cakes and sweets. It's even used as a tabletop sweetener. When we eat or drink aspartame, it's broken down in our gut into a number of different products, one of them being phenylalanine, and this is the molecule that we're interested in. Phenylalanine is an amino acid that's obtained from a number of different foods that contain proteins, and this is converted into a different amino acid called tyrosine by the enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase, and this is usually abbreviated to PAH. The gene that codes for this enzyme is found on chromosome 12, on the long Q arm, roughly here. The 46 chromosomes in each of our cells are arranged into 23 pairs called homologous pairs, and in each pair we inherited one chromosome from our mum and one from our dad. There is a genetic disorder called phenylketonuria, and this is a bit of a mouthful and so it's often abbreviated to PKU, and this is associated with a faulty PAH gene. Since I inherit two copies of the PAH gene, one from mum and one from dad, as long as I inherited one working version of that gene from either parent, I'll be able to make phenylalanine hydroxylase normally. If however both versions of the PAH gene that I inherited are faulty, all of the instructions that I have for that enzyme are faulty, and this results in the enzyme having the wrong shape and therefore being unable to do its job to convert phenylalanine into tyrosine. Symptoms of this condition, if left untreated, can include damage to the brain and nervous system, leading potentially to learning disabilities. It can also cause seizures and behavioural difficulties. It can even lead to a musty smell on the breath, skin and urine. Phenylketonuria occurs roughly once every 15,000 births, but there are some interesting outliers to the incidence data. This includes one in every 4,500 births in Ireland, and only once in every 200,000 births in Finland. Since PKU is a genetic disorder, there's no cure, but if detected early enough it can be properly managed, and these include a diet low in phenylalanine, hence the warning label. For that reason, parents of newly born babies are offered a heel prick test when their baby is about 5 days old. Along with other conditions, this test is able to detect phenylketonuria. So let's have a closer look at the physiology of this genetic disorder. Phenylalanine, as we've already said, is obtained in the diet and is converted to tyrosine by the enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase, tyrosine being another amino acid, and we get some of that from our diets as well. However, tyrosine is very interesting indeed. This amino acid can be turned into a whole host of different chemicals, most notably one called DOPA. This can then be turned into a number of different important neurotransmitters used by brain cells to communicate with each other. These include dopamine, epinephrine and norepinephrine. The inability of the brain to produce these important chemicals in the quantities needed for brain function may be responsible for some of the behavioural difficulties that PKU can lead to. Also, many of the brain chemicals involved are associated with mood, and this could be the reason why PKU sufferers have an incidence of depression 230% higher than the population at large. So, how does phenylketonuria lead to problems with brain development? People with this condition can still get tyrosine in their diets, and so it isn't necessarily a deficiency of tyrosine that causes these problems. We don't fully understand the mechanism that causes brain development problems, but it's thought to have something to do with the excess of phenylalanine. To prevent substances randomly ending up in our brains, there's a barrier between the brain 
and the blood traveling through it. And this is called the blood brain barrier. Now this is important because among other things, it prevents disease causing organisms from ending up in our brains. And this is obviously very useful and one of the reasons why infections of the brain are thankfully very rare. And this barrier tightly controls which substances are allowed into our brains and which substances are not. Our growing brains need a source of amino acids so they can make all the proteins they need. And so amino acids are therefore allowed into the brain. But to get into the brain, they have to pass through a transport protein. A number of different amino acids called large neutral amino acids all use the same transport protein. And these amino acids then all compete for the limited number of these transport proteins. Imagine it a little like a supermarket with only one checkout open. All the shoppers going about their shopping and completing their shopping trips all try to leave the supermarket at the same time, but they can't. They all then have to compete for the only till that's open. This means that if there's more phenylalanine in the blood, less of the other amino acids will be able to cross the barrier and enter the brain. This means that the developing brain hasn't got all the amino acids it needs to build all the proteins it needs and this then leads to the brain development issues that can be a symptom of PKU. There are a number of treatments for PKU sufferers, most of which centre around low protein diets. But other treatments look to help the body break down phenylalanine or give a supplement of other amino acids so the competition isn't as weighted in the favour of phenylalanine. If you're looking for information on the condition, I'm really here just to talk about the science, but I'll link some PKU related organisations in the description below. And for now, and until next time, thank you for watching.